Hey everybody, it's Alex and Gio from Rad Tyan, and we are here today to look at the House of Gog, Gorax, the Monster Maker. This is based upon the art of Skinner, and it's psychedelic, to say the least. Edition size of 150. Um, keep watching, and we're going to go through it and let you know what you think. So, yeah, grab yeah. some DMT and let's go. <laughs> Ayahuasca. <laughs> You, buddy. Yo, so like Alex was saying, we're going through the uh, latest release from uh, House of Gog. Uh, this is a little bit different from the uh, Pascal Blanchet um, work, the Derelict Planet stuff. Uh, completely sort of different direction, um, but if you're into it, it's going to blow your mind. So we're going to run through the box quick. I mean, obviously, when we talk about House of Gogs, they have they have the best packaging in the business. I mean, literally, it's probably them and Figure Armor that sort of lead the way in terms of, like, packaging. Um, but House of Gog stuff is, is just so beautiful. Their boxes, really high-density cardboard, high, like, really solid. And then they, they actually... Well, you can actually use this as, like, a... Um, a backdrop. Podium. Like a back... And a, and a backdrop. Yeah, because the thing about this is this print on here is, is really, really well done. Like, really, really well done. It's like um, a high res, like proper high-res. Yeah, res, and it? what they've done as well is... This actually does look the same, but what they did say before is that with the Moonstone, Jack, Claw, uh, all of the original boxes were the same size, so yeah, you could just, use them as podiums. A good and uh, I believe this is the same size as well. It so definitely that, looks it. Definitely, yeah. If I, I mean, just from the eye, it definitely looks it. So do you want to uh, you do the uh, the reading? Sure. I mean, My dyslexia just won't allow it. Yeah. All right. So, so Gorax actually... the Summoner is spoken about as legend, but few know that Gorax was once a beloved wizard on many earths, known far and wide for the strange creatures he would bring into existence. As a steward of creation, he was none. There was none who could match his sheer wild conjuration with which he midwifed these monsters, big and small. That's pretty good. So, like, it is a, it is a woman. And midwife's pretty good, like birth. Well, them. that's the thing. Birth is, but the wording does say he. Yeah. Oh, it's trans. <laughs> he doesn't uh, identify. He identifies as because a uh, Pierre was calling him uh, her the other day. Well, it's oh. there is. Uh, it says there was a blah blah blah. And okay. a midwife. Yeah. He yeah. Did, yeah. Mid well, midwife, well, midwife be can be could probably be a, a male. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All went well for a millennia, but over time, malevolent and small. M- Small-minded religions began to take root in the minds of the people of these worlds. The new religions led people to see the universe through a superstitious lens. Gorak's magic and all the wondrous miracles of these worlds began to be seen as demonic and evil. People shunned the very things that ever had made life so beautiful for so very long. The minds of the people twisted like roots in the earth. Oh, it's nice writing this. And Gorax was rejected and ostracised, banished to the cold void outside time. His loneliness began to tear apart at his mind. The creatures he conjured to keep him company began to change, to match the darkness that surrounded his heart. Shrouded. Yes, it's good, it's shrouded, yeah. They became abominations of despair. A once beautiful spirit withered with horror, now endlessly giving birth to monstrosities of unyielding terror. Gorax, the beautiful conjurer, loving and laughing with the children of all the realms, was now Gorax, the shunned. And he will return with the army of nightmare children that kept him company for so many years. May those small fearful religions keep you safe when he arrives. Skinner. That's the person that wrote that. So yeah, so it's a he. I don't know what Alex is on about. It's definitely oh, a he. Pierre said it the other day. No, it, well, Pierre's full of shit. It's a he. It says it on the box about three times. The only thing that leads it to be even remotely, uh, mid- stereotypically mid- female the is the midwife yeah. thing. But that's that's just, again, you can get male midwives. So I don't know what they call them. They call them mid-husbands. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be because he's French as well. He's French speaking, isn't he? So they got Everyone's like, a uh, fucking her to the French, isn't it? No, no, Everyone's no. a she. <laughs> well, no, it's more about their... The, uh, That's why I come here, family. just to have fun like this. Yeah. So what we do then is we'll grab we the statue. We talk about one thing though. Also, there is a little bit of a change with this particular piece, and that is that the inserts of the box are now a lovely. <coughs> oh yeah. yeah. 
the bathroom dude. He's going in the bathroom. Anyway, the the there's a new change with with the um with the box with the packaging for uh the House of Gog stuff. Uh, this particular piece, I don't know if it's just for this because of how how well, crazy it is, um, but it's got lovely foam inserts like so. But it's not foam as in like the kind of high density kind of foam. It's like um it's it's like a foam foam that you would put on. What would you wrap with that? Uh, like the really soft foam. Uh, the good you know, stuff. The good stuff, yeah, yes. yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure that the packaging was... Let's get the piece out and then we'll run through it and All right. let you know what we think. Yo, like Alex was saying, so we're going over the uh, Gorax, the monster maker, isn't it? Even though it says the summoner on the back, it's Gorax the monster maker. I think it was the summoner before. It was the I think original, that was the point. Yeah. No, the original name was the summoner yeah. when he was liked and then they became the monster maker. Okay. So this is... This is the piece. I think uh, it's absolutely nuts. <laughs> it really is crazy. There's a lot of things going on here. And also, just be careful when you do assemble this piece. Um, it's one of those things where you need to put a piece on before you put a piece on, before you put a piece on, before you put, you know, kind of. Follow thing. the guide, man. Um, well, I didn't. I didn't follow the guide. I didn't go by it. And uh, I kept having to take pieces off, put them back on, and do whatever else. So you kind of go with the, um, the, man uh, the vines first. And what you have to remember is with the vines, they're a bit hidden in the box and they're actually under one of the galls. So you take the gall out and then basically you take out the um, the foam from under the gall and it's hidden under there. So it is quite uh, hidden, hidden away quite a bit. Um, and then also put the legs on the uh, spider uh, creature before you put him on and then you'll have a lot more uh, joy in that way. And also this gall goes on before the spider. So it's kind of, Put this on. And it's then a little bit, on. yeah. You got to, yeah. you got to, you got to start in the right place to continue moving forward. Mm. There's I mean, so. <coughs> I mean, I mean sorry. Turn it on. Go. No, no. I'm just all going through quickly, Seven, quickly. Eight. One of the things that's really, really smart with this is the fact that when you do start taking pictures of it, um, one of the things that House of Gog have really, really worked with the factory hard on is the fact you know that they can. Re replicate the the art style in their statues yeah, and that is something really really hard yeah, uh, and it's sure. quite hard to explain as well but with this piece when you when you take photos of fo photos of it oh, it course. almost looks like it's painted so i took pictures of this before and uh, there's like a little blue gall uh and he almost looked like he was painted in the picture um and it was really really cool that way also one of the things as well which um didn't notice at first but this little uh, purple creature here, this like uh, centipede, he goes in, goes under the cape, he comes back out here, and that's the tail of him uh, around Is there. It? Yeah, yeah. So he kind of goes around, and then he's around the shoulder. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's there. going in through him, isn't he? Yeah, my that's favorite that's one so actually cool. is the uh, the little ghoul gimp, the little on, gimp. The, uh, on the shoulder, kind of like you know, the he's gimp, you kind of have that idea that them, you know, the the centipede and the little ghoul gimp are like. Almost uh, like um, whispering things so in his weird. ears. Like it's just so weird. You know, you think he's the kind of bad one, sort of telling him, "Yeah, you know, do it." Do I it, think they're both. I think they're both bad. Probably. I think they're both going, "Yeah, kill him, eat him." But I, I mean, but, the, the, this the the weird spidery thing is strange, man. It's really like I mean, uh, you it's know, got a little thing that he's like sitting on, almost like a little little green fish. Yeah, it? yeah. I mean, you can tell that like uh, uh, Skinner's probably done some like ayahuasca or something, or he's uh, he's like four. He's He'd like, be high as shit, man. Yeah, he's like pro four twenty or whatever they call him, you know. But uh, yeah, for sure. For it's sure. like that bit in it where you don't like things to see, things to do in Denver when you're dead. Oh, you just look. Only bit I remember is that it's, it was just just a nugget. That's the only bit I remember. No, the bit I'm talking about is like you shouldn't have me up front, man. Oh, he's... I'm off my tits. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a statue where you like go so what were you thinking and they just expect him to go I was off my tits man <laughs> just, it's like really proper crazy I it gotta is, say um, I don't, really popular artist, I don't really think problem. that pictures of this statue do it any justice it is it is crazy like mm. I, I'm, I like it I actually I didn't think I would I, on photos I really don't like it mm. in pictures I'm like it's it's not for me I, was I like, much prefer his other style. Yeah, like, yeah. I, that's more my sort of style. I yeah. think it, it goes back... I like back, that post-apocalyptic yeah, sort of thing. I, yeah, I really but also do. as well, it's like He-Man. It's like, you know, it's like a little bit of our sort of... Mm. It, it's got that style in yeah, it where they're like yeah. sort of 
you know that's what it looks like but this is like totally on a different sort of platform i think though when i when i saw the artwork and when you see the artwork from uh you know on the box design mm. um and you're just like when you hear they're going to make a statue of it you're yeah. just like well, where where do you even start with that yeah you know, how do you how do you get that and put that into a statue form and and they've done such a such a good job of doing that and i mean house of gog are one of the best companies at taking the original art uh taking the statue having the photo of the statue and then comparing it with the original art and it like looks flawless it's, it's they very, did that with like yeah, moonstone it's, they, it's alarming the good to be fair. and they, they, with this as well like when you look at it, you're like yeah that how what and then you you see it this, in, in your big beam delivered. This is like, definitely not going to be for everybody in terms of your yeah. tastes. I'm just putting it out there. It's not going to be. But there is, there is something about this that is like proper funky and mm. original. It is very very colourful, very bright, very vibrant. It's got mad sculpt detail details all over the place and little mm. hidden sort of Easter eggs everywhere. There's sort of monsters within monsters. It all, do you know, I tell you what this reminds me of. Do you know what this reminds me of? You ever seen Scrooge? Yeah. You know, or Scrooge or however you, Scrooge. Scrooge, yeah? <clears throat> so Scro the, the comedy one with Bill Murray. Anyone. Scrooge oh. or Scrooge, don't matter, right? In the final ghost that he sees, the ghost of Christmas future, there's a, there's a being, right? Looks like death in a massive cape. Mm. When he exposes his cape, in behind the ribs and his skeleton are monsters or yeah. children that are like deformed and they look like skeletons and they're a bit rabid. It's got a little bit of elements of that to it. I don't remember what it Yeah, it's almost me. like because of the way that the figure is sort of laid out and then the monsters are sort of hanging. He's got one on his shoulder, one up here, one coming through it, like his body, one going yeah, through him. Yeah. It's got that sort of thing that almost they're almost part of him. You know, they're almost so close together. They're almost so tight that they become one sort of thing. Mm. That they're all sort of they can't coexist without each other. Yeah, yeah. Which is a really like cool thing. I mean, this is nuts as well with the the the, the monster that he's created a big, bulbous. It looks like Arthur, my. Like <laughs> <laughs> your son. It's like Arthur's head. That way. It's, like, it's like my 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 uh, my boy is Ed. He's like pulling him out of the sort of goop. Gloop, you know, like out they of do the call actual they, pre he, primordial uh, slime that he's coming out of. He called me. He told me what I was called the other day, but I don't remember. <coughs> it was like a, the cauldron of something. Mm. It's actually got a proper name. Mm. But with this as well, then this monster is going to be like you know huge. It's going to be like a massive monster pulling him out, summoning him, like dragging him up as he goes. And you uh, need a fucking ladder, and he's yeah. <laughs> But the thing with this, like, fuck! I made it too big. I made it too big. Man, he's gonna have like little, 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 little legs. I don't like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like a big bobble leg. Yeah, his body's gonna be this big. I can't go any higher. Just make him little legs. Ah. Like oh, he just get bored. He'd be like, oh, I've been doing this for four days now. It's like no three D printing. So like, oh, no, four days in, ah, oh, it's just a little leg small. Come on, yeah. no one's gonna know. Yeah. No one's gonna know. No one will care. Hide it behind a wall. Just leave it ahead. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, but the thing with this as well is, I mean, the colours that House of Gog use, they always go for, like, very unique colours. And their colour, their palette choices are, are you know, no other statue company does does these choices. One of the things that... Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I think it was Evan, was it? Or uh, uh, who, who did pictures of this with... Um, it wasn't Evan. It was the Aussie guy, wasn't it? Uh, Steve. Yes. He did pictures of this with a backlight. Oh, I can't and, do his surname. Um, like Imica, Limica. Like no, no, like no, no. It's Pasqu Pasquale. Oh, yeah. yes. Yep. I, can't, I can't remember his name. but Pasquale. No, no. Pasquale. <laughs> do you know there's a video of Joe, uh, Joe Pasquale singing? No? He's got a proper voice. Yeah, yeah he's he singing. Call, it doesn't yeah. sound like that, yeah. Anyway, um, so basically, yeah, they use very unique colour choices. And there's there are pictures of this with uh, backlights. And it's actually like glowing, like really, really glowing. But Yeah, that you put a UV on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, UV light on it. It's, it went, I should fuck. I should have bought mine. I, yeah, I mean, it would be really, really cool to to see that. It's too, see too light in it, how right? it actually it looks under there. And Mate, I think it this is crazy. like I'm actually quite surprised by this. To be honest, I I've, I I have to be honest. I I I saw the pictures of this and I I just didn't like the art. I didn't like the direction. I just was a bit like this isn't my sort of mm. style. Just isn't for me. You know, like somebody will enjoy it, but it isn't for me. Yeah. Uh, like in person, it's got it's got some serious character. I do think as well, like when you surprising, look surprising because I thought I'd hate this. I really when you, did. When I you look like, at sure. the pictures as well, it kind of comes off a bit. Hey, darling. Um, Come on. Come on. I don't yeah. know. Just like you, you, you just don't appreciate it in the pictures, 
And when you when you then, I mean, when P, when Pierre said, "Oh, we'll, you know, we'll send you one for review. Like uh, we'll get you this across." No. Uh, we know you're a fan of the like Pierre's. Uh, please don't the, send it because we're uh, yeah. Well, that was the, that was the thing. We're a bit like, "Are you sure you want to send it?" You know, we we love the the direct. Uh, Derek Moon and the Derek Planet stuff, and he's uh, a really nice like, yeah, yeah. guy, very easy to talk. But to when 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 you mentioned this piece, we we're just like, this is really isn't our style. And he yeah. said, so you guys have supported us. I want to send it to you. I want your opinion on it. Um, I wouldn't personally have this in my collection, but it's I'd really 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 surprised me the way that I'd, it looks. I'd have this. I'd, I'd put this. I wouldn't. I couldn't. I, I I'm thinking at the minute, what is it that I could pair this sort of with? Skeletal. <laughs> It probably would fucking work. I'm yeah. not joking. It pro- not the, or like not, um, no, no, no. Listen, not the not the tweet, not the tweet heads, <laughs> not the tweet ahead stuff. The original sort of um, the original. Um, sorry, I'm not used to this sort of shit. <clears throat> ah, I'm not just joking. <laughs> <laughs> just like um, uh, go, to, go to a good place. Um, I don't know. I think probably maybe like the you know the original PCS stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably that kind. Of, the color palettes are similar. I just sold that. Yeah. Yeah, the color palettes are yeah, similar. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, see yeah, where I'm going. Yeah, it's not got them realistic sort of. This is what yeah, Merman yeah, yeah. will look like. Film motion stuff. You know, it's a bit more sort of like these kind of colors, mm. and I think it would go with that kind of stuff. You yeah, definitely, yeah, I would I, definitely I can see that. Into, if I hadn't seen He Man, right? I, I hadn't see seen that. the cartoon, and I had Skeletor. <laughs> they done Skeletor. They done He Man. They done the Sorceress. They, they did done Hordak. Uh, Hordak. No. They yeah, did they did. The, the they, did uh, they did Beast Man. See, I think all of I think all of those you could put yeah, this yeah, with yeah. that, and I think if somebody come in that hadn't seen He Man, they'd they'd assume it was all but together. They, but saying that, sorry, they'd be like, "Fuck me, the sorcerer's fucking yeah. got got a bit strange." Yeah, she's had a bad a bad day without her makeup. But this also does look a bit like your know, Mumra without, you know, before the pre Mumra where he changes. Yeah, because he has a cauldron. He does. So that's that's that may be a bit of a reference. Ancient to that. spirit of evil. evil. You need a power, I beg of you. Yeah. <laughs> give me the power, I beg of you. It's not that. It's something like give me the power. No, no, no. no. Do you know what I'm thinking of? Yeah. Chucky. Give me the power, I beg of you. I've yeah, got. I've just Chucky. mixed up Mumra and Chucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ancient spirit of evil. Transform this decay form to Mumra! Yeah, I was like, yeah, so... This, I think that, that could work. So if you have some of the OG PCS stuff and you're thinking, mm. what the fuck can I put this with? I would probably say it will go. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to stretch and say, I think it will go nice. It definitely yeah. does. Yeah. But you can have it as an original piece. It's done really well. It's made really well. Good I really size. thought I would hate it and it's strange that I don't. Good size as well. I didn't think it was this big. I really thought it was going to be a little desk, desktop piece um, and it's much bigger than I thought. But yeah, overall... Do you know what I thought I liked when I saw the picture? I was like, I think I like the big head. Yeah. I'm not sure about the fucking the cat at the back. I think it's the other way around, isn't it? I think the other, it's the other yeah, way around yeah, in yeah. person. You're a bit like... And you, didn't even one, need, you couldn't even need this. You could have that and not put fucking Skeletor down. <laughs> one of the things that's done really, really well is obviously because it's based upon the artwork. Um, you know, you, you, he literally has one big hand and one little hand. And not like in Scary Movie, like, uh, take my strong hand, child. But it's more like, you know, because of the perspective... But also because of this being like a like a wizard, you know, he kind of almost has it where you can get away with the idea that the they don't match because it could be well, this is like he's summoning, so as he's summoning, his his hand grows or whatever. So it all kind of adds to the story, but it's more to do with the perspective of it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even like. I've got to be honest. There's so much going on on here. It's um. Yes. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's nuts, man. I, I've I've got to be. I, I've I'm quite impressed. I, I think fair play. It's got mm. some seriously. I mean. Because it's the colours are so vibrant and so bright, you need to paint them clean or you're going to fuck this all up. And yeah, yeah, you ain't got any, you've got any spills. So you've got no green going onto the red, yeah, yeah. no purple going onto the onto the uh, red up here. N- n- nothing is bleeding or mixing, mm. which is really impressive because with these kind of bright, there's a reason why when you get a statue, it um they have similar tones. There's a reason they do that. It, so they can blend them. And so that if they go over, you sort of like, it's more forgiving. Mm. With this, no the colours are so different that if there's any bleeding, any sort of overspray, any mistakes, you're going to go, fucking hell, look, they're a bit sloppy there. Oh, that's no good. Like, honestly, it's it's super clean. Right. It's very, very clean. Fair play, man. 
Yeah. All right, we'll end up there. Yeah, let us know what you think about this. Are we off our tits? <laughs> Did we do too much DMT? Is this something that would go with your sort of He-Man sort of OG Skeletor sort of OG Thundercat sort of line? Yeah. Is this something you have stand on your own? Is this a miss from House of Gog? Should they have stuck to the derelict planet sort of stuff? Have they branched too far? Have they pushed too much? Uh, let us know in the comments, man. We always like catching up with you. And uh, Yeah. Also to let you know as well, their, their Oracle is actually up on pre-order now just to... Yeah, that looks really like nice. That piece. Call to action. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, check out the Oracle, and uh, also make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Definitely check us out on Instagram. We are going uh, really good there. We are about twenty thousand. Uh, we're probably going to take over our YouTube and not Instagram. I think at this rate. Um, definitely like, like us, subscribe to us. If you're not subscribed, uh, it does help with the algorithms and things like that. Comment there if you like it or not. Again, that all helps with the algorithm yeah. and don't cost you a penny. So yeah, thanks everyone. Take Peace. care. Peace out. Good job. So new now he just yes. barks at fuck all like thin air. You're a cunt, bro. Dude, I could do with some pictures of that box. fuck around because you're going to go out the window dude you make loads of threats but you don't deliver jack shit dog has not fucking sat and just minded his business for any of this not once not yet and i don't think to be honest with you i think you're full of shit i don't think he's ever going to i think this is always going to be a pay attention to me situation I'm just, I, I remember how fucking shitty you were with Neo all the time. Just because of his feet walking across the floor and his breathing. This dog barks, squeals, fucking walks about, jumps up, jumps down, yeah, comes difference. in your face, licks your face. And it's like, oh yeah, no, you'll go in the bathroom. You'll go in the bathroom. You ain't going nowhere. The difference is, look at this guy, man. Look no, at the him. difference is it's your fucking dog. That's the difference. When it's my dog, it has to go in the other room. When it's your dog, it can fucking stay there. Also, you have a luxury house. Having much bigger house. Doesn't matter. Put him in there. Put him up fucking stairs. You ain't going down them stairs. Put him in with your boxes. I'll try. Good I'll luck. Try. You'll even fucking flip down the stairs because you ain't getting down them stairs. Got dead sausage. We're back. Oh, is it my turn? Did I do? Yeah, yeah. Go on.